Generic greetings and welcome to Voxel Factory. Today's beverage is a quite tasty, I think it's called a feel new herbal infusion, which is fennel, cardamom and aniseed as far as I'm aware. Either way, quite nice indeed. So welcome to Voxel Factory. Probably quite a short video on this one today. This is a prototype, another prototype as part of the Introversion Crystallase Fail Masterclass, a series of videos and prototypes where they go through basically what they've been working on and ultimately why they stopped working on said project and they'll just detail what it was they were trying to accomplish etc and this is basically what they have done up to a certain point this is the fifth game and uh, release as of the time recording for that series and i've covered the others in the past including uh, order of magnitude space bots etc and i find it interesting to check these prototypes out to see basically how far it got and what it is like and also i think it's a decent thing to signal boost because all proceeds go to war child so as always links are in the description so you can check not only the video that the introversion have put out themselves but also the link for the uh, the games if you are interested in checking those out. So as I said, quite a short one here, I guess, because this is basically Factorio. <laughs> they unashamedly even say they just wanted to get this out of the system and make a Factorio clone. And it's in this voxel world, we can actually destroy certain things like that, and you can see we're blowing up uh, holes in the world there. And we just have to build a factory. That's pretty much what it's like. So let's just have a quick look. We can go to buildings, and we have... A certain amount of buildings. We've got miners, conveyors, inserters, smelters, factories, chests. We've got splitters, lifters, droppers, etc. We've also got some defense stuff, which I'll come to later on in the video. Let's get a basic a production line up and running. So we're going to go for a miner, and we're going to place a miner probably in there and there and we'll have a quick look down to see what it is like so we've got these obviously uh quite primitive um miners here and they are mining away and outputting coal let's go to a conveyor and if you've played factorio you pretty much know what we're gonna expect here so these now go onto this conveyor belt and that's gonna move along let's go get some iron so once again over to a miner here and we'll rotate it like so there is a green arrow on the top and that's now in you can see we're now out of miners but we can build more so if if I, for example, place another one there, it goes into a build queue where they have to build gears and then the miners. Over to the, um, over to this, uh, conveyor belt again. I think I'm actually going to place another miner over there. So we'll have three on the go. Although that is outputting, oh, interesting. It's outputting there. So I don't know if I'll be able to build up to that point. Let me just go to conveyor here and go... Uh, will that work? I, I assume not. Let me press zero to destroy these things. Oh, it looks like I can destroy the land blocks as well, so that is fine. Uh, that is now in, which is good. Over to conveyor, and then there we go. That's now all working. So we have those two on the go, so I'm going to probably have the conveyor come down a little bit further and then go straight across like so. This iron will come along and then across and then down and I think you can, I don't know if you can go across, but we're just going to do that. Um, obviously, there's many different ways you can play Factorio and how to build it. And it's all about the throughput, basically, and not necessarily the speed of which it gets from one side to the other. So, for example, this will take a, long to, a while to get there, but as long as it's constant flow, then it should be fine. This is obviously not going to work. You may notice that. So I'm going to delete that section and then delete that so I can then put the conveyors in, and now that should function. Good. Okay, let's go ahead and get some smelters. So we can place up to four smelters. I'm going to go with one, two for now. And Oh, actually, I've placed those in the wrong location. Whoops, let me delete those, and I do get the items back which is good you can see for some reason it's placing it in the air so i assume there's going to there was going to be maybe perhaps multiple layers or maybe that's just a, a bug i have no idea this is after all a prototype so let me go ahead and place that there and then place that see that's it's trying to go in the air uh delete that so smelter i'm trying to place it so it is too away from that but you can see it's 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 actually altering height the further start the, the, the more i go up which is interesting anyway one there and one in there and that should be yet yeah, they are on the ground now and then we'll have our inserters and the inserters again have an hour on them but the difference with these is that these are essentially what we would know as long handled inserters so they go um if i place it there we can see the two lines so that's where the inserter is this green line and it picks up and takes from the red to the other side so it's actually too wide so there you are let's delete that and we can see that the smelters are doing just that they are smelting we now have these blocks on the front there so i think we can pick it up 
if we wanted to manually but instead we're going to go for inserters one there and one there and then obviously a conveyor which will go across and then that is our basic iron up and running there i'm going to place another smelter because well we're in charge of our own destiny so we can uh <laughs> That is the that is the uh, ultimate result of that, and then another inserter, which is actually a, not a, it's not insert, it's actually ex 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 exerting is not a word, I don't think. Anyway, uh, it's going to go over there, and that's job done. Right. So now, what else do we need? Well, we need copper, and oh, looks like over here is the closest copper so we'll go to destruction remove a lot of these blocks because well i shouldn't really blow the landscape up if you want to, know how to blow a landscape up let's hold left click and right click and boom there you go and i guess if you do it too many times the game oh frame rate don't like that anyway over to our i think we'll go for another uh minor three minors one two three yes that's fine and then obviously the conveyors as well big difference this time is we don't have anywhere to smelt it yet okay conveyors along and then down here like so you can see it's quite quick to build that and it goes into wireframe mode when you're uh, out of those resources i'm gonna go back over to this location and place in i think miners i'll place one in there there and then there that should do quite nicely and then more conveyors which will come along so along there and we'll probably meet it up at that location so conveyors will come along and then go across and then we'll have this go i mean ideally we'll go probably that way and then we'll go that way and obviously then we need the smelters so i'm going to place smelters in something really matters but it's going to go one two three followed by our inserters which will be let me just get a bit closer there you can see it's all in wireframe at the moment because it's not got the resources so one two three and then over to this side it is inserter one two three conveyors straight across and that is our that is our production line for both copper as well as iron so that's pretty good i guess i could place a chest in here as well and i'll place it there followed by an insert oh no that's wrong because again this is a long handled insert or what we would know as that one so remove that and then we'll have an insert going to uh there the height thing is a bit of a problem i must confess um there that's fine followed by a chest although that is a two by two it should function fine as far as i'm aware you can you can like pump these resources directly into these so you don't have to use the inserters you can crack on with with the other stuff uh, you can see it says required there a certain amount hang on am i am i able to pick up some of these resources i think i can somehow yeah i just have to hold shift and i can pick up some of these resources so i can at least crack on with the build queue so the big difference really is that you don't have to be within uh, a certain proximity in order to build these things you can be wherever you need to be as far as i can tell obviously also it doesn't use power there is no power in this at the moment so the inserters or anything like that do not require power and uh, naturally we don't know really where long term if any of this uh, would have gone so whether it would have gone for having to generate power whether there would have to be water gathered let me just pick up some more of this uh, you can see on the top right just how much resources i have on uh, i guess our avatar for the lack of a better thing our flying camera but yeah we, um, we have 140 copper ingots and obviously it's making gears to then create this but yeah whether or not there would be things like uh, we've got water you can see there is quite clearly water here um, whether or not you would get you know the water pumps and work it that way where they'd have generators whether it be i don't know whether this it's it's quite it's quite difficult to go through it because like the other prototypes that was sort of this is the idea and go for it whereas this seems to be just wanting to make a clone of factorio and see where it goes which i don't think there's any problem with that because it's upfront from the beginning that's like that's what they wanted to do and let's make a clone of factorio and see where we get and uh yeah that's uh that's pretty much what we have here a couple of things that are as i said a bit different no power um, whether that would be added we shall see i don't know how much the world destruction because it's in this you know it has this um sort of voxel destruction thing going on i wonder if this would be a big part of oh is that is that a hollow mountain can we find some secrets 
Are we going to find some secrets? Mm, nope, nope, we're not finding secrets. Cool. I don't know how much that would play into it. Obviously, Factorio 2D, um, you don't have this destruction. Whether or not you would have to mine into these big things here and find nodes and build devices that were in a 3D space. Obviously, we have Satisfactory uh, with that as well, but it doesn't, again, use this sort of voxel mining the world type of thing. So I think you could get potentially a a different product out of it it would be you know not just factorial but in 3d which is essentially what satisfactory sort of is anyway um but you could obviously have it so you have to mine these resources here um and i think there are certain well there certainly are mods in uh, minecraft as well uh probably years and years ago what were they called I'm trying to think of the name now what they actually were called let me just see if i can pick up some more of this iron yeah we can um there was a lot of like um, industrial craft stuff that I used to play with on um, on Minecraft back in the day where you had automated mining and uh, even Thermcraft with an arcane bar. Now we're going back quite a number of years where you would literally mine an area out. So, I mean, that's, that could be an approach they would take, but who knows? Who knows? This is uh, it's pretty much as far as we've got. We also have some defences, as I mentioned earlier. So we have towers, lasers, and fences. Towers are just that. There are just a tower there. And then you have your lasers and fences. So lasers are turrets. So, yeah, there you go. We have some turrets. And we also have some fences. So the fences work is you will place them like so and then we get these lines you can see the lines there and if you then intersect those with other ones of these it will then create like a laser wall where creatures will go in and then be destroyed what creatures well we can spawn aliens um obviously there's things i just have not yet built i haven't built any factories we can place a factory so for now i'll just place it in hang on i'll place it in here and is that the right place? No, it's not the right place. We'll delete that. And hang on, do we delete it? Uh, delete, yes. And a factory will go in. Was it there? Actually, that should be fine. And then we'd have an inserter. And then we can click on this. Just left click and it's going to say gears, conveyors, lifters, etc. But these obviously require certain resources anyway. So we couldn't make a green circuit because well, I actually don't know what is required. But for example, a... Where is it? A tower, laser, fence, wire, gear. A gear, it just says gear times five. And I'm assuming gears are just iron. So let me just pick all this iron up here and crack on with that. We're almost finished the build queue, actually. I mean, it's taken quite a while to, <laughs> to, to finish this off. But at least you can queue this up and just wander away. I guess that's similar to the blueprints um, in Factorio, as far as I can remember. But I didn't really mess around with blueprints too much. But yeah. You can see all this is pretty much in. We've got copper coming down there. Um, so let's think about defences. So I'm going to play some lasers. We have 99 lasers, so I think we'll be fine in terms of defence. Although I don't know if they can, the creatures can come across water. So there is actually a rotation to these as well. And I don't know if that uh, that much matters. So let's just put some around there. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll actually press L to spawn the aliens. And oh, you can see that they're now streaming down from over there. So there's our alien. Oh, and over there as well. So we know that we are going to. Oh, and right behind us. Okay. So these things, um, I'll have to see if I can place as many of these towers as I possibly can. These things will basically start to swarm towards our base. So you can see we've got lasers firing there. Um, it almost has a total annihilation uh, sort of feel to that one the way they're swarming away and you know they're just disappearing but apparently um this is what's mentioned on the video that they will basically constantly probe uh your base and they'll find the weaknesses so when something dies they will oh is the lords in there as well i think there are lords in there they'll constantly probe your base and they'll get to a point where they'll figure out well okay we can't get to this point i think they said it drops pheromones or something like that where they'll go yes we cannot get in here because too many things have died so they try another area and they're basically going to wave through the entire situation which is uh an interesting concept oh there's more spawning there you can see when it goes on the water they actually uh they actually die straight away and this is quite an interesting concept is where we go over here we can see these are getting shot but they're starting to work around so they're going in different areas but what happens is when they get to a point they basically suicide and they die and turn into these just uh, black cubes here you can actually see just a little bit of them inside there before they die and then they're basically going to encase all of the machines that's the point it encases them all uh, is this building no it's almost built let me see if i can 
get these. Yeah, it's like, taking a bit of time to get the smelter. But yeah, you can see they are basically encasing these things here. So that's what would happen. It would encase all of your all of your um, factory, basically. Oh, there we go. There's, there's yeah, that's the encasement that I mentioned. So maybe that would be like quite a big part of the game where you would have to defend against these creatures and maybe even bait them in. Maybe this would be a resource that you had to gather. I mean, it's it's too early on. You could go many different ways with it. Um, I would like to go a way where the frame rate doesn't hit absolutely uh, nothing. Or oh, oh, we're just under 30 there. Up, up, up 32. Brilliant. Oh, there, there's our laser fence. You can see that. They're actually, that's a shame they're not getting in, but if they got there, they'd be singed by that. But that is basically the prototype. As I said, it's uh, just going to be a, quite a short... A video for you on this one today because there's nothing really much else to show you other than to say yep it's basically factorio it's the game that we probably well i know personally know and love um i'm guessing yourself as well oh there's our there's our copper as well so many ways they could have gone with this and um i think it was just a case of perhaps not i don't know whether it would be a case of we they wanted to develop um develop this further or whether it was just a case of look i just want to see what happens when we <laughs> go and try and make a clone of factorio and as we've said we you know you probably could go several different ways with this but this is pretty much what we got who knows whether any of this will uh, be evolved into a product like with all these prototypes that's sort of it's sort of an unknown at this stage and uh, yeah maybe there'll be positives to come out of it that's hopefully i guess the goal but there you are that is a bit of the game and we are getting absolutely swarmed either way i hope you have enjoyed this little bit of look at the game this is as i said uh, available to purchase links are in the description this is not a sponsored video it's just something i personally am interested in checking out and i'm more than happy to signal boost being going to uh, proceeds going to watch out etc so i don't think that is in any way shape or form a bad thing so if you want to check the game out yourself then by all means there is a link in the description and also a link to the video from introversion where they go through and explain it in probably much better detail and more clarity than i have uh, and there's our ryan gay wheels being produced so cool either way i hope you have enjoyed this little look at it if you uh, like we see by all means let know in the comments if you have any suggestions for perhaps what they could have done or if you would like to see this being evolved into uh, you know, any other product, then it would be nice to hear your thoughts on that one. Either way, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.